So we got a couple things we're going to do here today. We're going to clean this up, uh, get most of the wiring harness off of here, label it before I take it off. Um, take this truck intake manifold off, put on my LS2 intake manifold that I picked up, see how that fits and everything, what I got to do as far as moving alternator and whatnot. The truck stuff still on from the bottom of the oil pan to the top and it's like 33. Okay, got my wiring all separated. One little oily spot here. I'm gonna clean up. Stick this in a box. Harness nice and clean. It's gonna live in here for a little bit. I should show this to my old man. Ooh, wire scary. All right, let's clean her up. I've been wanting to kill some grass over here anyway. Well, she's clean as she's going to get for now. What I really want to do is get in here decently clean so when I pop that intake off, there's not stuff flying everywhere. Damn, that thing looks good. This deep motor stuff is actually a nice little setup. I already test fit these brackets on the LS2 manifold. They fit perfect. Um, I'm going to end up getting rid of this logo. But uh, the O-rings fit right, unlike the, uh, the last set that I had. The edges here will actually seal. Uh, they're not bad. I'm certainly not going to trust the China braided hose, but uh, the fittings and whatnot, that stuff all looks good. And the fitment here on the manifold looks good. Well, the correct angle for the injectors too. I gotta throw my short truck injectors in there and see if I can uh, modify that bracket or something to uh, to work with the short injectors rather than doing one of those spacers. I'd rather stay away from a spacer if I can, but um, it may be less hassle than modifying these and uh, making that work. I have to do some homework and see if LS2 injectors are short like truck injectors because it seems to fit pretty good. Come on. Let's see if I get in there. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of see where the O-ring is sealing. Because it's hard to see there. But uh, I wonder if that works, if that's just a bolt in. Okay, so call me crazy here, but this seems to work mint. What I ended up doing was using a new upper uh, injector O-ring, and then I used the used upper injector O-ring down the bottom to make this nice and tight. Um, it's a, The truck injectors are supposed to be 200 thou shorter than the LS2 injectors, but this works mint. They bottom out, so I would have to decap them to get them to sit further down anyway. So uh, I want to see how this works. Cleaning out some of the truck stuff here. Put it right where it belongs. Little bandsaw at work here. Worked pretty nice to hack this thing up. Uh, so the whole idea is to take the alternator that was too high, move it from the spot that was here, flip it over, make another bracket here. I saw another dude on YouTube did that, um, and it should work. So during mock-up, I noticed uh, this 4.8 alternator looks kind of crusty. But that's actually what I put in the blazer when that died, so rather than kill a brand new alternator the next time I drive through a pond, I'll put this crusty one in there and save that one for the brother. That crusty alternator looks much more at home in the blazer. So I tried to figure out a way to make this work, but it ain't happening. Um, Thought about trying to do a pipe tap, plug it, then drill and tap this thing. 
uh, by the time I bought the drills and the pipe taps and the plug and the hose barb and all that stuff uh, it's not much more just to do a car style water pump and that way let's say it does give out at some point I don't have to redo all that work um, and if I'm going to spend this thing to like eight grand a, bit, a new uh, water pump's not a bad idea anyway to try and keep it cool Here's my AC's Delco's LS1 water pump. Give us a clearance we need. Look at that, I didn't even need to uh, clearance my throttle body like I did. I made a little clearance spot here for the truck water pump. Hoping I can make that work. And uh, that don't matter now. So this bracket actually doesn't sit flush. It's on here, so I'm going to have to actually chop this off. I've seen other people on YouTube leave it on, but no luck there for me. Picked up this little gauge port here, so I can run a fuel gauge on the end. Mint. Also picked up this crossover kit for the uh, air bleed on the water because the truck stuff ain't working with this LS2 intake but it's only like 20 bucks not bad boy getting that started here we go Whew. cheap china that still does not really feel good but I guess it is what it is Okay, that one was better. Whoa. Man, that gets tight fast. Like, binding. That's got to be right, though. Oof. So here's a little bracket machine to work. It's a piece of uh, half-inch aluminum with 250 thou milled off the back side in order to get the spacing right. And the other thing you gotta do is flatten down here. There's a rib that goes all the way across. You can see I ground the piss out of it. That's just to make sure that everything is nice and square. So everything that I ground is a low spot and the cast flat here where the bolt goes through uh, is what's keeping everything square now. Um, but, Got thrown out on the back side of this, but uh, that is how we keep the alternator nice and low, just like the intake itself. So that should give me the hood clearance I need. So that gives me an alternator, a water pump, plus one water pump with the spacers all lined up but look at this uh, tensioner pulley apparently I have to mill probably 750 off the back of those since I have a 750 uh, spacer for the water pump I have to get an exact measurement and then take care of that at work